Hello friends, we back for another Jojo reaction. Today we're checking out part 6, episode 11. Now in the last episode, we got introduced to the gang, right? Uh, particularly weather report although his name here is weather forecast it, it's uh, it's really a weather report and we got a stand fight ongoing with the jumping jack sparkle aka the red jumpsuit apparatus right so yeah uh without further ado let's check out the episode the abnormality alarm has been activated in hallway 7b yes that's right it's passage 7B. We're currently confirming the situation. Did something unusual happen? We're not certain yet. However, passage 7B is only meant for going to and from the factory. There's no possibility that it's a fire or a prisoner riot. There's no need to worry. No, I'm not worried. Oh, it's the Butchie! The Street Prison and its prisoners. It was really just quite noisy. There won't be anyone trying to escape from this location. You're certainly right about that. We'll handle it. Thanks, Father. Right. Very well, then. Man, this, his hair do is so unique. Is that clock hanging up in the corner accurate? Hmm? Yeah, of course it is. Uh, looks like it's 11.58. I guess it's almost lunchtime. At 11:51, Speedwagon Foundation. Call to the Speedwagon Foundation. On stand number 16. The call from about seven minutes ago. Hey, weather forecast. Since you made. Isn't it suspicious that a priest would like to, <laughs> to listen to a recording? Like, bro, that's none of your business. <laughs> Why? Who are you? Are you like the warden too? Contact with me. You're now also controlled by zero gravity. That weird guy isn't anywhere to be seen. We need to get the disc back quickly. Don't panic. The thief has to be somewhere inside this wash house. He must be hiding. Oh, do you need to take a piss? Don't lean in close to. <laughs> it's it's getting really bad. You would have to do it somewhere over there. Oh, jeez. I never should have asked. You know, a man, of course. Already did it myself. There, just now while floating. <laughs> when you find yourself in zero gravity, the blood in your body will suddenly collect at your head. Oh. That blood is usually down in the lower parts of the body. Severe diuretic effect. It removes sodium content through piss and thins out the blood. Wait, hang on a second. Hey, don't worry. My clouds will absorb it. Oh. Is happening the gravity pressure everything that i make contact with enters zero gravity air air doesn't stay put within a zero gravity zone he'll get pulled by the surrounding gravity and then escape oh we need to fill these gaps in the wall air while within a vacuum a person's blood will boil right up like water a vacuum with zero gravity makes one's blood dry up in 20 seconds oh it's quite wow a long time before the individual would ever suffocate Man, this stand is so problematic. Take good care not to breathe too heavily. 
I collected what little remaining air was left within this room. Your nose, it stopped bleeding. So mm. how long can we keep on breathing? I don't want to answer that question, but probably like two minutes. Okay. It's a cloud suit on the verge of death. We need to find and defeat that man during this time. Otherwise, we'd be thrown into the vacuum for sure afterwards. Back us. Oh, hey. Now that I'm not bleeding, something's been bothering me. Wait, Jolene. I said two minutes, but it could only be one. We need to hurry and focus on finding him. The carbon dioxide is increasing. Mm. But the laundry hamper. Why isn't that floating as well? You see that hamper over there? I've touched the floor, walls, doors, and even shutters of this room. That's why the whole chamber entered into zero gravity. And now, how is the enemy possibly breathing inside of this vacuum? Oh, that's Given right. Circumstances, shouldn't the blood of that freak be boiling up? Hmm. I see. That's his attack range distance. Oh, there's an AOE. Zero gravity's got a distance. Of course. Range, and it doesn't extend through the whole room. An attack distance. The laundry hamper has got to be within. 20 meters from where we're floating. There's no way either one of us can approach him. I'm inclined to agree. Mm. Outside the hamper. Mm. Oh, nice. Go now, weather forecast. The pressure within the cloud suit is becoming strange. You've got to go right now. Quick before the cloud suit flies away. Oh! No way in hell you can get out of my attack range, you fools! He'll try to shoot him down, but I won't let him. Let's go, Jolene. All, to guard weather forecast. all right, stand stats. So we got A in power, B in speed. Fair enough. C in what is this? Range, okay. Typical humanoid stand. C. A in durability. Oh, those are good. A in developmental. Ooh. Those are really high stats considering the stand can still develop. Wait, so how is he not bleeding? Isn't he affected as well? Weather forecast is going to reach the oxygen in a few feet. I was not attempting to direct the bullets to hit the man you call weather forecast. I meant to hit that metal barrel to damage it. Oh. There's a little bit of air in the metal barrel, correct? If I'm right, then the air inside of that can is on the brink of bursting from being pressurized in a vacuum! Oh! Weather forecast! Oh, wow! Oh no! Weather forecast! It's simply no use. Cloud suit itself is about to break! Dude, he's gonna burst. J Jolene, the heck are you doing? Go, go back. He's going to oh. shoot you. On top of that, you'll lose oxygen just from the moving force. And yet, you won't be able to get away from me like that. Oh, rah, 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 rah. I'm already well aware. Your stand's extremely powerful. The high speed of my rotation bullets would easily be flicked away as you defended yourself. I prepared this for that reason. I looked all over for them everywhere. I captured them and hid them away. What are those? Rats? There's a lot of them. Oh! There we go. I didn't think you'd be able to push through my zero gravity power this much. What Damn, he just has now? them but not uh, bolts and uh, knocks. Nuts and bolts, right there. this, my mission is officially complete! <laughs> oh! Here, there may be nothing I can't do in this world. My future is the color of an invincible rose. I'm gonna hand over the disc to Pale Snake. 
and then defeat him too if I deem it necessary. Wow. I'll do it with my own hands. <clears throat> oh, you have the string. <gasps> Ooh. How? He's outside this AOE. That's why he's not bursting. We've beaten you! If you don't want to die, then you've got to desist the zero gravity effect of Manny! Yeah, you need to cancel it. Oh. That crime I committed, which got me into this prison in the first place. How many times did I stab that woman? When I killed my bitch! Add peroxide to manganese dioxide, and a chemical reaction occurs, and oxygen is produced! Exactly like oh. the oxygen in this bottle! It keeps on spewing outwards! After such a long time, that feeling of wanting to murder somebody has come back! You're dead! Oh, oh shit! With those fresh cuts on your body, your blood will explode before mine does. This is how your life ends, Jolene Kujo! I got sent to this prison for stabbing someone. And I'll kill you by carving you up so you burst, then leave this prison having become invincible! <laughs> Ooh! <sighs> With the report! I'll give mine to you. It should be enough to get the disc back. Releasing zero gravity! Jump Woo! in, Jack Spark! Gravity returns. Aura! If you released it while well, you still had distance between yourself and Stone Ocean. Yeah. Instead, you are within your range. You waited. Jojo Stone Ocean. How long till Speedwagon gets here? What's left? Minutes? Seconds? On the other side of that door, there's a passageway. Alongside the right wall, there are windows that look out to the courtyard. There, you'll be able to see a revolving door's gate. That's mm. the gate to the courtyard. Good plan. Not only will you have the crime of attempting escape, but you'll also be put in isolation for half a year. Yeah. You'll be left in a small cell where you can't even exercise. Doesn't matter. I'm going to the courtyard and handing this disc over to the Speedwagon Foundation. Oh, it's you. <laughs> he oh. said, it's you. Wrangler, what's wrong? Why are you making noise? Hold on, I'll open the door now. I'm gonna knock Wrangler this guy out. The men's prison, Lang Wrangler. Let's both visit the place. I'd like to speak with you. Huh? It's not a guard. Pochi. <laughs> Who is this? Oh guy? my God! This man isn't a guard or a prisoner. This person's a tire. It's like he's a. All right, that's the episode. Oh my god. What a sick fight. It's a, it, it was a bit confusing because we are dealing with elements that are not too familiar, like how zero gravity works. And they did try to explain it, but, you know, if we know Araki, right? If we know Araki, Araki doesn't have the best grasp on concepts in general. So... He could totally be wrong about how that works. You know, like inconsistency is kind of in his nature at this point. So that being said, it was entertaining enough and we got to see uh, levels to the game, right? Like how Weather Report made the suits and all that, like just creative stuff in general, right? And I think maybe that was the purpose of the jumping jack uh, spark right was to make this type of stand battle to showcase uh 
weather report, essentially. And at the end of the episode, Jolene meets Poochie. Oh my god. Like, she has an idea that whoever she's gonna meet is the one working with Jumping Jack. But maybe she's, you know, stunned by the idea that it's a priest. Or if she was mistaken about this. Something like that. If you guys like the content, like, comment, subscribe. If you want to support your boy even more, links to Patreon down in the description. I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.